Hey there, folks. It's February 23rd, 2023, and I think it's time to catch up a bit. If you follow this channel, you know that I think um, public schools, all schools really, need to move in the direction of these kind of um, different kind of desk, different kind of workspace, personal workspace. Now, I'm not saying that you would spend your whole time in school in one of these, but it's like with a football helmet and all the other equipment you need to do sports, what do you need to do academics? It's not enough anymore to just have, you know, your pencil and notebook for the kind of math that we're doing, the kind of topics we're covering. You need a personal workspace and a nerd cave, things like that. Obviously, that brings up lifestyle issues. Who's got the money for this? Who's going to go out and buy themselves this kind of equipment? I'm saying, no, no, it belongs to the school. You might have to go to a building that's just got thousands of these. Who knows, right? It's like, let's get on it, planning-wise. Now, why would we need that kind of equipment? Well, as you know, this is the face of computers and math and STEM and all that these days, you've got to be using a Jupyter Notebook. If you're in a backward country, then you're probably using some kind of calculator and that's that's it, right? Like the people, the adults around you, they're afraid to upgrade because they don't know. But it's too late now to hold back and wait for them. You're the ones who are starting out and need to know these skills and you just don't have time to pander to the paper and pencil crowd, I don't think. That's my opinion, of course. So I write all my materials, which includes the Bucky stuff, for students who have more of a living standard as shown in these. I'm saying a little ostentatious, maybe, not particularly exactly, exactly the kind of um, workspace that I'm projecting for everybody or anything. It's more the concept. These look pretty nice, actually. This dragon one does look pretty cool. So I call it a dragon, you know, the way it looks. So these are what I'm looking for in the schools so that we can understand our world better and track refugee services as they continue to go forward coffee shops network has to do with charitable funding micro charitable funding everybody gets to play philanthropy not just rich people right if you've been following this channel coffee shops network and trucker exchange are two of the major projects that i brainstorm about you could call it science fiction you could call it investment banking it's up to you science fiction is where we storyboard the future and that's why Martian math and science fiction go together so much and Martian math is my what do you want to call it wrapper like uh, like gift wrapper for gift wrapping for synergetic geometry which is the Bucky stuff now I've been sharing most recently my Bucky stuff and my Wittgenstein stuff on Andreas uh, Kulikowskis' um, free list, right? Because he's got his new, um, Andreas Kulikowskis has got his Math for Wisdom website, which has been very active and has included a lot of YouTubes. He's prolific like I am, so sometimes I have trouble keeping up, but it's not like we're doing everything in real time, so it's not like I have to keep up with everything in real time. Same with you guys, right? This is not about all real time, so I can go back and watch D.W. Jacobs talk about synergetic dramaturgy. This is really worth catching on 52 Living Ideas. Doug has a long history studying dramaturgy, right? The science of making theater goes way way back and he adapted his talk to also be about Buckminster Fuller since he wrote a play about Buckminster Fuller and knows a lot about Buckminster Fuller and this channel has a lot about Buckminster Fuller. He's got a very visual geometry this Bucky guy another reason you might need a real computer workstation and not just a calculator to get through high school right. 
I kind of focus on the high school level, but then I think adults need high school again. I don't think people in Congress have a high school education yet. Most of them, Mitch McConnell like that, they still live 40, 50 years ago. It's very dangerous for us. Speaking of which, I agree that the U.S. had nothing to do with exploding the Nord Stream pipeline. There may have been cons some, some conspirators who used buildings in Washington to plan. I don't know. I've read the Seymour Hirsch, but they would not be acting on behalf of the United States, and the U.S. is actively pursuing these terrorists. I think of them in the same category as Ollie North, who got a pardon. But this time, I don't see why we should pardon anybody, right? If you blew up the Nord Stream 2, we're after Nord Stream 1 as well. Actually, it's both. We're after you. We are after you. The USA is bringing its full power to expose you and undercut your legitimacy should you be, should it turn out that you are opposing as a legitimate official of the United States. You would not be such a thing. If you had anything to do with a <clears throat> Nord Stream terrorism, do not think that you have anything to do with the United States. You are totally an outsider. I don't care what buildings you have access to. Same with 9-11. If you had anything to do with that, don't think it was because you have anything to do with the USA. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But you do not. Now, it's easy for me to use that rhetoric because, again, I go with the Bucky stuff where the USA passed away. So you can't blame the dead. You can bring back the dead, in the case of the USA, if we aggressively pursue the terrorists, that would be a sign that we might be bringing the USA back. So let's do it, eh? Um, on that score, I have a lot of um, anti-war posts relating to my late mother, who passed away last year. In Jan No, this year. This year, not last year. In January quite recently, right? So we're talking about that. Quakers coming by, getting a lot of support from the community for our transition to life without Carol here in the house. All right, let's talk again soon.